with a free drag and drop tool and share them online. In three easy steps, open, create, share. It's data in, brilliance out. Let's walk through an example. Say you run a neighborhood blog and want to write about the graffiti in the city. You go to the NYC Data Mine website to find graffiti data the city's been tracking. After you download Tableau Public, the first step is to open your data. Let's open that graffiti data. Tableau reads several file types, including spreadsheets and comma-separated files. In this data set, each row is an incident of graffiti, with a place, date, and other details. You'll want to make sure your data is properly formatted. Each column should represent a different field or variable. The first row should contain field names, and the second row is where the data should start. When you open your data, Tableau automatically reads the first row to get the field names. Tableau classifies some fields as dimensions, which are categories like boroughs or status. Other fields are measures. These are typically numeric. Now you can easily visualize your data. You may want to see where the graffiti is in New York City. In this example, let's select zip code and the number of records. Click Show Me, and Tableau suggests possible visualizations. In this case, let's choose the map. We get an instant result. By dragging Burrow to the color show, we can see the graffiti activity by neighborhood. We can see a large number of incidents in Brooklyn and the Bronx. We can also turn on the streets and highways options on the map for further detail. A map is a good way to show where graffiti is happening. You might also want to see when the graffiti incidents occurred. A trend line is a good way to show data over time. Let's create a trend line without using Show Me. First, we need to create a new worksheet. Right-click on the Sheet tab and select New Worksheet. Now we can build our new chart. Drag the created date to the column shelf and add the number of records to the row shelf. We see a big jump in the number of incidents from 2008 to 2009. Let's change the level of detail to take a closer look, this time by month and year. Select the pull-down menu on the Created Date field and select the Month and Year Display option. Now we can see there's been an increase in graffiti since 2008. Add Burrow to the color shelf again to see the trend by neighborhood. We can see graffiti in every neighborhood has increased over the past year, especially in the Bronx. We may also want to see how much graffiti has been cleaned up. Let's add a quick filter to see the status of these incidents. Right-click on the Status field and select Show Quick Filter. If we select Pending from our Status filter, we can see a spike in the number of incidents in Manhattan that are still pending from April. Maybe something the city should look into. Now that we've created our where and when views of the graffiti data, let's combine them on a dashboard. Dashboards are a powerful way to tell an integrated story. Right-click a Sheet tab and select New Dashboard. Drag the two sheets we've created onto the dashboard. Tableau Public automatically adds the legends and the filter to our dashboard. We can make the filter global and apply it to both views. Select the menu on the status filter and click Make Global. If we select Pending on our status filter again, we can see the spike in the number of incidents in Manhattan on our map and our line chart. Now that we have what we want, we can further customize it. We can arrange our views. Add the titles we want. Customize the colors and fonts to match our website. Add a title to the whole dashboard. And select the best display size for our visualization. Once you are finished creating your visualization, you can share it on the web. Select Save to Web from the File menu. Log in to your Tableau Public account. If you don't have one, you can create one now. Once you've logged in, an interactive preview of your published visualization appears. Click the Share button to get the HTML that you can embed in any web page or blog. You can resize your viz to match the dimensions of your blog by selecting Display Options. When you have the size you want, copy and paste the HTML into your blog or website to publish your post. 
Your readers can now interact with your viz, share with others, or download the workbook and create their own visualizations. There is so much you can do with Tableau Public. Download Tableau Public and try it for yourself.